What's up guys? It's Sienna. What's up cousins? It's Sienna and welcome back to CC's room. So today we got updated Q&A. Did me and Trey break up? Am I still signed featuring Trey Bills? So it's I'm just airy and it's Trey himself. So we've got Trey and I'm excited y'all because honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. After that whole uh, incident with YK Osiris and the Instagram, I thought it was over for real, for real. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I, I kind of was like, dang, I guess, I guess Trey's over because I mean, it was just kind of like, it was so abrupt and it, it just happened so fast. So I don't even know, but let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, intro. Shut up, Trey. Q&A. <gasps> they got Money Heist on in the background, y'all. Money Heist is at that show. Yo. Yo. I thought they lived together. Shut up you know with the can I like, join. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Bills. Okay, well, before we were um, rudely interrupted. interrupted. You guys have asked me some questions and I'm here to give you some answers. Are you and Trey still in a relationship? Are we still in a relationship? Mm -hmm. Yes, me and Trey are still in a relationship. Um, I believe like we're just like any other couple. We have our ups and downs, our petty moments and stuff like that. Period. But, you know, like, That's my boy. We, we just deal with what we deal with and we mature and grow together. And we, you know, we go through changes. You know, good changes, bad changes, and yeah. But to answer the question, yes, we are still together. I haven't you put any music out. So, um, I haven't put any music out because, um, like, it's a lot of stuff about the music industry that people don't really know about. Yeah. Which has a lot to do with the legal stuff and, you know, owning the rights and producers and, um, you know, publishing and distribution. It's a lot of stuff like that that goes on. But I haven't been dropping any music because um I I really I really don't know. I just have I've been slacking and then like I'm trying to get me a team so that way the stuff that I don't know I can get help with. Okay. Um, are you still signed to Rich Forever? Um that's a good question. Um I am still What you mean that's a good question? Uh, signed to Rich Forever. Um legally and everything like that but there's a lot of things that um need changes and that there's a lot of things that's been put on the back burner and okay you know um i think a really good example of where i'm at in my music area would be rich had posted this post literally about why he hasn't dropped music and you know he paid you know he's grateful for the people in his life that's the patient his fans family whatever mm -hmm. and i literally feel like that's my mood like you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to drop stuff, but nobody's giving me information. People want me to do this. And but yeah. they're not giving me the other stuff that Trey. I want. Trey! Like Bro, Trey is, like... I'm concentrating on Aerie, and then I look over, and I see Trey making all these weird faces, bro. Like, <laughs> can you just be serious? Because I can't. You know what I'm saying? Especially for being, like, a YouTuber and a music artist. I just definitely think that... Um, Stop. In different areas could definitely be like um, a working area. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's a learning process. But being the very first lady that, you know what I'm saying, used to rappers to having a singer and also still trying to balance your own career as well, it can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a lot of responsibility as 
as much as being the first lady of a company, you know what I'm saying? Where I'm trying to learn this stuff and not get screwed at the same time. Yeah. But it's like you want to drop something and then it's like, oh, well, no, you can't drop it because being signed to him, he's signed to people that he can't do stuff that stops me from doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But I feel like this is a learning experience and I feel like everybody should just do their research. Take chances with your career because your research. Stuff, I've um, been exposed to a lot of good stuff, bad stuff, and I'm just taking it all in and learning and just you know trying to set up my own type of way. You know, mm -hmm. do you have anything planned for your 23rd birthday? So for my 23rd Ooh. birthday, um, what's that mean? He's okay. <laughs> for my 23rd birthday, um, I'm actually going. He's uh trying to plan a trip for a few friends of mine i mean probably were like she don't have no friends but i've been making friends i've been stop what is he saying i mean probably were like she don't have no friends but i've been making friends i've been hi please come to my party you know i've been I what is he saying, saying? And I don't people y'all think i'm friends with but i have like associates you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I miss my Kendra, but you know what I'm saying? I have associates and I have this boy right here. So I really want to plan a trip to uh, Las Vegas. And then I uh, I want to have a dinner here in Atlanta for people that couldn't come. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also wanted to go out here in Atlanta because I still have not been out here. But I thought okay. I have like a whole little shebang type of thing like that. And then, um, yeah. And then I want to do something like privately for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like a trip. <laughs> A trip or something like Ooh, that <laughs> trip keep getting stuck in my throat. Shut up! Ari is annoying, bro. It's just it's keep getting stuck that in my throat. Trip keep getting stuck in my throat. Like a like a surprise trip or something like once all you know come down. I'm like not expecting it or something like that. What's your <laughs> thing on the back? <laughs> you know, I'm like not expecting it or something like that. You know, I mean just just and something like that. I just you know. And do y'all regret doing? Wait, opinion. What's your opinion on the backlash y'all received from the social experiment okay. and do y'all regret doing it? My opinion on the backlash is I definitely think it was unnecessary because there's so many different videos that are being put out constantly, day to day, that nobody yeah. says anything about. And but when we do it, it's when, like... Yeah, when we do it, it was just like, they're the worst people ever, you know what I'm saying? Like, And I what understand up? that there's a lot of parents and things like that, you know, who want to have children that can't, but I feel like if I was somebody, is baby yeah. Yeah, she her. If I was somebody who was like making fun of it or like, but people constantly do pregnancy pranks all the time. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling my boyfriend I'm pregnant. I'm telling my boyfriend I'm cheating. I really did cheat. It's just so many things that genuinely happen in the YouTube community. And I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has to have the first person to do something in a different way. And then, you know, everybody poops on the other person's parade, but yeah. I personally do not regret it because it, it showed some facts. And it's crazy because I noticed some people do, um, like, similar things after us or yeah. even whatever they decided to do, do similar things after us. And also people um, explaining their life and their relationships and it's instead that half of the stuff that they do is, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I just... Yeah, so I just, I don't yeah. Like I feel like Look, it's a lot of light on stuff that people don't know what what's called. And it's, but if, you know what I'm saying? And half the time, maybe because a lot of people just don't like me, and it probably just made it better. Like, and I don't know why. Aaron, you know, Aaron did it. Yeah, a lot of people like, don't like us. Let's just say Yeah, a lot of people don't, don't like us. us. So like, but, you know, but, I mean, I don't, like, I agree with what she said. I don't regret it. I don't, I don't regret it. it. It brought a lot of light on a lot of situations. Yeah, like, our person's just made yeah. everything. It's, it's like, it was definitely something I feel like everybody, you know, should do if you can handle mm -hmm. it. If you cannot handle people calling you ugly, you don't deserve it. You hope this happens, then don't do it. But people ain't gonna like you. They talk about Beyonce to this day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's always something. When are you going to start collaborating? Um, I am open to collaborations. Um, anybody that is trying to collab with us or anything like that, you just gotta DM us. Let us know because sometimes it's a YouTube is a big community. You're not like selective. You do not have to be oh 1.7 two million. We are yeah. a very open. You know what I'm saying? We but we mainly go off of vibes. You know what I'm saying? You see us speak. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Like you see us speak. Yeah. Okay, let's link up sometime. You know what I'm saying? You just like, video, 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 video. Like you're not even trying to. Hey, how you doing, bro? How you, you doing? Because you can't just do a video with, you know what I'm saying? You can't just do a video with everybody because mm -hmm. the, the, the vibes and the energy ain't on. The way you would hope, because y'all can feel chemistry. Y'all know when something's off or when something is all right. 
I said, all right. You know what I'm saying? Do you like living in Atlanta? Yes, I like living in Atlanta. I think I just didn't think about the environment and stuff, and it's definitely getting cold, and I did not think about that. Definitely getting cold. Dang, like, it get cold in Atlanta? Box. I do plan to open up a P.O. box, but um, um, there's two different types that you can open up, and um, definitely something I'm looking into. I plan on getting one by the time my birthday comes around, and not just like for the birthday party, but. It's that's not for the birthday party. Go Hey, so you know what you're doing. Like, like, okay, by my birthday, I got she knows she's together. Would you ever consider doing a meet and greet in um, Southern States? Um, yeah, I always want to do a meet and greet tour type of thing, but I feel like not right now. Probably like um, sometime soon. No, but no, no. Eventually, you know, once I get back in the groove of YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I've just been trying to make YouTube fun again. Like, for make my, YouTube fun yeah. again. Make YouTube fun again. Ooh. Care about it. I hold on. Give me just a second. All right, y'all. We back at it. Make YouTube fun again. Uh, fun again. YouTube fun yeah, again. I've been trying to make it fun and so not make drama. Instagram fun and, again. You know what I'm saying? And not like not drama. Oh, this. And, and you know what I'm saying? I just missed when it was just real chill. You know what I'm saying? Like it was nobody was thinking. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. How you feel about your first start in Atlanta? I feel good about it. Do you feel like removing your friendship, your relationship from the internet has placed you in a better space mentally? Yes and um, mm -hmm. yes and no because when you remove it, people think that something's wrong. Yeah. And then when it's there, people feel like they have an opinion on it. On it. So mm -hmm. I'm like on the fence. So um, like you know, removing it a, a certain aspect, I feel like is definitely really good because you just less opinions on something is better. You know what I'm saying? Because it comes yeah. to judgment sometimes. You can get shown you want to, but sometimes you have that one percent. It's like, dang, like, <sighs> dang it. I'm sure. You know what I'm saying? So, but it definitely, um, definitely, yeah, it definitely, stop. Really. stop. It definitely puts a lot of stuff into perspective. So I do feel like removing your relationship, um, it's a balance. You just have to find a balance for both of you and go from there. Um, are you doing vlogmas this year? Um, I don't really have an answer for that because I'm not really a vlog person. And um, yeah, it's it's way deeper than a lot of stuff is happening. So yeah, and then I don't know, Christmas is I don't know, it's just a lot. So it's just is a lot. Definitely, I don't know. Um, do you plan on getting that consistent? Yes, I do. Um, I just want to be. I just want my supporters to be patient with me because mm -hmm. it's kind of like getting back in a groove of things, and you know, you want to be able to enjoy your work. You know, you plan on doing more in Atlanta than you did in Houston. Yes, and I already have did more here in the past month or two that I've been here than I have in Houston. Would you ever consider taking a pole dance class? Yes. Yes. Any please let me know. I would love to do some pole dances so I can start pole dancing everywhere. Period. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's everywhere. I'm Look. <laughs> How do you juggle your everyday life? Every day I take it step by step. I try to write um, a to-do list at night so that way I can hit it in the morning. Try to wake up early, try to stay on top of things, you know, try to stick to a routine so that way, you know, when things are out of place, you know, kind of, you know, everything kind of has That a makes place. a lot of sense. And so, definitely something I'm working on, trying to juggle everything, Daniel, and everything like that. How, um, what is it that you love and dislike about the fan base? Um, something that I like about the fan base is I love the support and, um, the semi, the understanding. In, mm -hmm. a, in an aspect because sometimes I feel like a lot of supporters don't understand. I feel like that has a lot yeah. to do with like, you know, it's a, so many different ages. Y'all go from literally six to 26, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everybody has a different thing based on the areas that they're in your life. And I feel like yeah, um, y'all definitely have my back a lot. Like, you said what about who? You know what I'm saying? Hi, baby. You come tell me night night? Give me a hug. I love you. Okay, go to mommy. My bad, y'all. My niece came in here. Okay, what happened? You said what about who? You know what I'm saying? Y'all be going in. Like. Okay. You said what about who? No. My back. Oh, y'all be on my back. Okay, that's that's what I thought she was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be going in. You know what I'm saying? And I be. Um, I really love that. Like y'all can go in. What I don't like about the fan base and I, the, the supporters, I wouldn't say dislike. Something I would want us to work on better is 
knowing it's kind of like a keeping certain assumptions and stuff to themselves unless they get like a, something clearly from yeah them. you see what i'm saying not like a not like a little piece of something and then take it because once you put it out there even if you you know what i'm saying i see people say i just talked to Ari yesterday and she told me and i'm like i haven't even been in a group you know what i'm saying stuff yeah. like that i just feel like definitely uh like a if you don't get let's, let's keep the assumptions down keep the assumptions down yeah. and just like just yeah you know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> yeah I mean, it's kind of like 50 50 with this because i mean it's like Y'all are like smart and stuff. Yeah, Y'all are like smart. And so nobody's saying play dumb. But what we're saying is just like a, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to be so hurtful to somebody who doesn't respect yeah. your opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because we're all a family. And so if somebody, let's say just the Aries, uh, Aries supporter and not a Trey supporter or a Trey supporter, you know, if one of Trey supporters says something, you don't have to be so harsh to them just to make your point go across. Yeah. You know, so I just we all treat each other like, you want to be treated. A lot of verbal abuse that goes on. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of verbal abuse like everywhere. The, the, the fan pages can literally, you know, the fan pages that y'all make as supporters can literally be an uh, escape from y'all real world. And I just feel like if y'all, if y'all escape is, it's like tainted, then it's like no longer an escape and then we lose you all together. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And right now, bullying and all that stuff is like at an all time high. And I just feel like we can just be more, we can be kind to each other. You know what I'm saying? The but world you needs more kindness. Stuff, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta be as mean, but get them. No, you know no, what I'm saying? Get them. Get them. Get them. They be trying. They be trying. Yeah. And we, let me, hold on. Let me, let me say. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me speak my piece. They be trying and y'all be ride or die. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all be yeah, yeah, yeah. Ride I'm feeling all this energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling all this energy, too. How did it feel having to be away from Danny and while on tour? I feel like it was definitely difficult. And it was a it was a lot of stress in general because of the tour, but it was definitely definitely difficult. It melted. You consider having more kids. I really don't want more kids. I'm like y'all know how she feels. Like whenever I get married, if my husband wants another kid, you know what I'm saying? We'll talk about it. I just you know what I'm saying? Like the first me personally, I just you know what I'm saying? It's a lot to think about. Like I like sleep on my stuff. It's just a lot. Um, what's your thoughts on marriage? I definitely want to get married one day. I feel like just the right time, you know, right person, right energy, right spiritual level, you know, and I feel like everything doesn't have to be perfect to be married, but I do know that it's supposed to be in a different space when you get to the marriage part, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No matter if you know each other 10 years to get married, it's still... It's growth. We have to grow together. If we can't grow together, it's like... Point. So much to learn. And grow from but marriage is definitely on one of my you know on my bucket list that i would like to you know go through you know what i'm saying and um i want to be married so bad for summer winters i prefer yeah. i feel like it's a mixture of I like, summer i like fall i like right summer you can wear some ugg boots one day or you can wear some sandals mm -mm, nobody mm -mm. does you wear a hoodie or a t-shirt while you're out. You wear a t-shirt with a jacket. Summer. I want to wear a hoodie, a jacket. I need to be in blazing. Like I hate that. And I don't want to be outside. Like, can't even have the windows down for a little bit. I like fall right in the middle. Mm -hmm. But I have it that you have. I love popping stuff. Popping, 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 picking, pulling. So. Oh, yes. Around me, I'm going to pick it and pull it. Yes. Who gave you the nickname Papa? That's me. I don't know. My sister Juliet. I started calling Juliet Papa. So I called Juliet Papa when she was growing up because she used to watch a Smurf, Papa Smurf. And so my brother, he was gone. He drew her this thing about like a, a, a the Papa Smurf. He made her a pillow. And so I started calling her Papa Smurf. But when you start calling somebody that as a kid, they think that you're saying your name. So I'm like, Papa. And so she started calling me Papa. Mm -hmm. And so like, next you know, it was like a, when you say Papa, it's either me or Juliet that's gonna look at you. But it's either Julia talking to me or me talking to Julia. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you have any um, best friends? Do you have any best friends traditions? I've been watching Ari like tweedle with um, Trey's arm. It's so freaking cute. And it makes me so upset because I'm just like, dang, I wish I had somebody on to just be. Like, uh, move.
that y'all do like every year, like, okay, this is what we do. Um, a lot of stuff in college we had traditions like, but as of lately, no, like she's a married woman, got a freaking house, like her wedding is coming up in May, like you know what I'm saying? It's like stuff is different. So we don't really have a tradition plus like work schedules, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm still trying to kidnap her, but she's like you know what I'm saying? She's um she's getting her life together. Not that much. I'm not getting her life together. We're two different, you know what I'm saying? But our tradition yeah. is that whenever we get in contact with each other, we can go like a week, two weeks, a month without talking right when we talk. If we Everything come hours, yeah. today, she's still my best friend forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Um, where did you and your best friend meet? Me and Kendra met in college. And um, me and Trey met in Houston. Period. Um, Put your man in there. Put your man in there. In Houston. Um, what's your height? I am five eleven. Oh, eight. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Look, me and Trey be honest. I like how you threw that in there. Look, it took a minute to register. Um, <laughs> what's your height? I am five eight. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Shut up. Um, I'm five eight and a half. Five eight and two inches. So, I'm really tall for a lot of people that didn't know. I didn't know she was um, tall because I'm 5'8". Look, look, look how they are connected. Look at this. 5'8 and 2 inches. So, I'm really tall for a lot of people that didn't know. Um, what food do you love the most? What food do you love the most? The bitch guy. Stop. <laughs> um, pastas. Yeah, I like pastas. I like pasta. Pasta. I like um chicken. 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 Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love soul food. Look, she love. Ooh, I want some soul food. Look. Um, what's your favorite? What is something that you regret? Um, I regret caring about a lot of people's opinions, which is something I'm still dealing with today. That I um I came to realize that. I don't care about a lot of people's opinions, but a lot of people's opinions I do care about. So people's opinions that people say they don't opinions matter, I do like, okay, I don't care about that. But people's opinions who really does not matter, I, do that make sense? So like people on the street, I'd be like, whatever. But then any people that I don't even know, but like they in a vicinity of people that I know. And Ooh, I, I care okay. about, well, they gonna look at me like I'm this, and they gonna think this. I understand you know what, what she's saying. saying. I, I care about people's opinions way too much yeah. more than I should, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like when somebody has an opinion, I feel like, oh, I need to take it into consideration. Consideration, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listening to their opinion and still going with whatever decision I make. I understand that. You know what I'm saying? Because like, somebody tells me, like, yeah, I don't like the outfit. Now I'm like, so should I change it? Hey, Dang, yeah. Like, I like this outfit. Hey, oh, I understand, yeah. yeah. I feel you, though. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. What's your favorite alcoholic drink? Ooh. Um, I would have to say Crown Royal, cranberry juice, and Coke mixed together. Um, with the Coke? That's odd. Gonna I'm gonna have to try that. My favorite alcohol drink is gonna get drink drunk drunk with that. Um, hey, mix with Coke. I'm gonna try that. I'm, I've been trying like every different wine. Like right now, I'm trying to find my drink, so I don't have a drink right now. Mm -hmm. That's my thing right now. I'm trying to find me a drink, so I've been trying different wines, making my own mimosas with champagne and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been doing lately. You know what I'm saying? I'm grown. Look, grown. So. Grown and six feet. What's your best achievement? My best achievement would literally have to be Daniel. Yes. And my YouTube. Just my, I don't know. I, I got, I don't know. I'm gonna be, yeah, but Daniel, I would just go with Daniel. Um, are you amazed by the success you are in the YouTube business? Yes, I'm amazed, blessed, and grateful. But amazed, I know blessed, that and I grateful. can personally do better. And I know that if I do better, I, I know that you guys will do better as well because you guys have not failed me yet. So I just feel like once I step up again as a leader, and um, take, charge. take charge of everything, then everything will find its way. Um, are you under a new label? No, I'm not under a new label, and I'm not, I don't plan on signing to a new label. Um, like I said, Rich Forever label was a learning experience for me, and um, I'm still learning stuff, I'm still legally going through stuff and fixing stuff, you know what I'm saying? So it's not all just, oh, I'm being lazy, and but it's like, you don't wanna, I'm not gonna record 50,000 songs and then I'm dropping a song and it's remixed and I didn't know about it or mm. I'm dropping a song and it's two months after the song was dropped and you know what I'm saying I'm yeah. not gonna I'm just not gonna keep doing that you know paying I'm paying for these studio times I'm going to these places and it's just like a you know what I'm saying so right now I'm just you know if 
wherever the chips may fall, I'm just being patient. Wherever they fall, from there. But I'm not I will follow it. What is something you like and dislike about being a public figure? Ooh. When I look at how messy I'm in public, you get caught. When you just want to be lazy, but you have a full-time job. Girl, I don't care about none of that, period. Dang, like, you know what I'm saying? Me and my high school, if I was to come school with them, nobody paid no attention. Now it's like you have to look the part. You don't look the part, oh, now she broke. Oh, you know what I'm saying? She don't have anything, now she does. But it's like, as you get older, some people get to the point where more materialistic stuff defines Opinions are like anus holes. Everybody has them. My thing is, I'm very like, I'm just, I'm very comfortable within myself and how I am and how I act. And I like, I've always been an outsider on the outskirts of everything. So to me, I'll go anywhere looking a hot mess. And my best friend hates me for that. Like he literally be so upset and I'll just be like, bro, like... It is what it is, bro. Everybody, like, you're not gonna look perfect every all the time. Like, you're just not. You plug up this charger. So I say that to say, Ari, you don't have to. You don't have to. People feel like they have to because they feel like I don't know. People pe people feel like they gotta put on this persona of everything's perfect, everything's great. Everybody has bad days. Everybody. Everybody has bad days. That's all I'm gonna say. And you're not finna look like a freaking model every day of the week. And that's just reality. I look hurt, burnt, and turt on a couple of videos. And I will not erase them. Or I will not delete them. Because it is what it is. I feel like it's evolution. It's 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 life. It's literally life. This is these these are the motions we go through. These are the these are the stages we go through. Like it's just it's life. So I'm not gonna go buy me a chain, I'm gonna buy the building. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So, Aries wearing the same outfit, but we own the building that we in. You know what I'm saying? See, y'all do that. Mind. That's just how I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? I'm just on some trying to be mature. You know? <laughs> Let's be mature. I, this is so <laughs> How has life been for you? Life has been pretty good. It's been um, it's been kind to me. It's had its days, and then it didn't have its days. But it's definitely been kind. How do you? Would you ever do a girls talk or challenge with India? Yes, India lives far. And India, for y'all who don't Who's know, Who's India? Trace, Trace, um, cousin. India lives far, right? Yeah, she lives, she lives far. really far. She and stayed, like, we stayed, like, over here. And, and she stayed, like, over there. Oh, really? <laughs> right. So, and then it traffic, it's just, like, it has to be a pre-planned thing. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't have transportation, you're not trying to get the Uber. See you later. You know I'm what I'm saying? See you later. But I definitely would do something with her and other females that y'all know are in Atlanta or in other places. You know what I'm saying? We trying to travel. You see? So, um, I would react to dance. She need to collab with me. I'm actually going today to pay money from the first school that I have went to that I actually really like. I prayed about it, dreamed about it, and um, so mm -hmm. my yeah. And so I'm actually excited. You know, I'm really, really excited because I believe like. I'm just ready for him to take that step, and it's gonna. I'm I'm kind of scared because I literally will now have that kid who's like in school, like yeah. I you know what I'm saying. Summers are when you're home all day, and then plus he's an extracurricular activities as well. He's gonna be a busy guy, like it's gonna be if busy. It starts at seven and ends at seven, but I plan on him being there from like seven to three or eight. You know, I don't want him there all day because I used to work at daycare. And I can say my son is good all day, but he might find that one friend that and they care that turn him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I don't want him there all day because I don't want him to get mistreated and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, what's something you plan on leaving behind in 2019 and something you plan on expanding in 2020? Um, something I plan on leaving in 2019 is definitely um, any insecurities and um, lack of motivation and procrastination. Mm, that's um, good. Uh, grudges that I tend to hold. Uh huh. And I don't and I know I just said like, oh, if you you know what I'm saying, if you didn't want to talk to me when I was down, don't say nothing to me now. Especially Period. you know, I, yeah, I know that's duh. Like holding grudge, but like just being mature because I don't have any hate in my heart for anybody. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like when you're done with a book, you can reread it later just to reread it, but I'm not gonna reread it and you know what I'm saying, buy the whole collection again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I love books, how she put I that. I just wanna enjoy life for what it is and not think too much into it as in like overthinking every little thing. This person is supposed to be my friend forever. This person is supposed to do this. Or, yes. You know what I'm saying? And definitely leave the expectations for people 
you know, in the past, but definitely raising the expectation I have for myself in 2020, I definitely want to open up some different things and expand my brand like I've been saying and like I've been doing. So, yeah. That's yes, these are all great goals. I need to steal. Do you have to put on a different face when it comes on to YouTube, or can you always be yourself? I feel like it's half and half. I feel like... I feel like I can always be myself on here. You'll see me with a bonnet one day. But I also feel like you can't always be yourself because people feel like as you elevate, you're supposed to elevate. And I understand that. But I just, I, I want to be, I want y'all to. You got to be real, I raw, I uncut. I somebody and think, dang, they look cute all the time. And then you Because it's not reality. All the time. And I want to show young girls who watch me. You can be cute all the time. But comfortable, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Comfortable financially, comfortable physically. You do not have to meet the status quo of what you're supposed to look like. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Chocolate girls, vanilla, mocha, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, like that's just really important. But I yes, kind of I love that. Be yourself, then you also kind of don't get to be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because then people look at it and they mistaken a bad day for she's copying. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, it can be a lot. Um, these are the last two questions. Have you ever considered starting your own business? Yes, have I, uh, yes, I have considered starting my own business. Um, I don't want to speak too much about, um, my business endeavors until they're in the process or completely done. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes some stuff just needs to be not spoken about yeah. because people can pray against what you want. You know? And the last question is, what's something that you regret the most? I feel like I answered that. Didn't I? Yeah, I did answer that. I already answered what I regret the most. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I answered all. This is with a lot of questions from Golden Dot Trary. And I'm sure she got, um, they got all these questions from a cup, like a whole collab of all you guys. Uh -huh. But I just feel like you guys deserve to know what's going on, where am I in my life, update it. I hope I was as honest and open up front, you know, open about everything, you know what I'm saying, anything that you have wanted to know, the music, why stuff is not dropping, if you don't know the post I'm talking about that rich man, I'll try to include it in the video, and, um, yeah, I love you guys, like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification, that those are my little team, every all day, every day, if you oh, wait. know team bills, I do this for real, I do this for real, and we are out of here, peace, peace, wow, y'all, that was great. Um, I, like, I love Ari because I always feel like she drops some gold um, on everybody. Like, she she's always going to drop some gold, some gems, some some good, like, juju, some good mojo, jojo. Like, look. Excuse me. Um, she just... She always drops something good, and she's always so positive, and she's always, like, I just feel like... Aries like an old soul like I love how she's all about positivity and uplifting and she's like me I feel like like Ari, Ari, Ari is like Ari is a YouTuber who like she's she's a bigger YouTuber who I feel is like more relatable like like some YouTubers it's like they so like higher that it's kind of like okay like you you on a different mindset from me and it's not to say it's a bad thing it's just that i'll be i'll be on i'll be on a different i'll be on a different tip i'll be on a different time like i just um i don't agree with everything i don't and i'm me and and i'm gonna say what i don't agree with and i'm gonna be like okay you know that's cool like you know do what you do but i just it's certain like that like i just i love how she uplifts and 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 she spreads positivity and she's like there's no drama it's just she's just like Trary as a whole they just it's relatable so yeah y'all let me know what y'all thought about this video in the comments down below like comment subscribe let me know what you want me to react to and blue hearts